Tonight, Memphis on edge as the investigation into five former police officers accused of violently beating Tyree Nichols, causing his death, takes a new turn. The Shelby County District Attorney addressing the community amid growing pressure to hold the former officers accountable. While each of the five individuals played a different role in the incident in question, the actions of all of them resulted in the death of Tyree Nichols, and they are all responsible. All five officers booked into jail, each charged with second-degree murder, among other charges. This graphic photo showing Nichols in his hospital bed, bruised and battered after the January 7th traffic stop. He died just three days later. A family attorney claims police body cam footage shows the officers beat Nichols nonstop for three minutes, kicked him, pepper sprayed him, and tased him as he cried, what did I do? Once the video started and I heard my son's voice, I lost it. I couldn't stay in the room because all I heard him say was, what did I do? All five officers and the victim are African-American men. The officers were already fired before being charged. Memphis police say the body cam video will be released. Overnight, police chief C.J. Davis bracing the public for what that video shows. This incident was heinous, reckless, and inhumane. And in the vein of transparency, when the video is released in the coming days, you will see this for yourselves. And law enforcement sources tell ABC News that Memphis City officials and police were expecting demonstrators to take to the streets once the video is released. Now, some of the police leaders themselves have privately compared the video to the 1991 brutal LAPD beating of Rodney King. They are now hoping that any protests in this case will remain peaceful. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.